Hey y'all, it's Riley and I'm back with another episode of The Comic Commuter, the uh, segment where I like to talk comics while I am driving to or from work uh, every day. So today I'm doing it while I'm driving back home from work because this morning it was dark out and I just was not up to it because it's Monday and yeah. Anyway, um, so after uh, the previous kind of somber interlude episode, I'm back to discussing the, uh, you know, like the, the two before it about what's going on at DC right now. And the last two where I was talking about uh, what's going on at DC, I was really gushing about the stuff that I was excited for, including um, Gerard Way's uh, upcoming Young Animal imprint as well as the Hanna-Barbera Beyond books that are gonna be coming out. Today I wanna to talk about something that I'm not so excited for, and that's kind of what's going on over at Vertigo. So Vertigo, of course, is DC's mature reader imprint that's been around for decades and has been home to some of the uh, highest profile and most acclaimed comics uh, kind of of all time. I mean, that's somewhat, obviously that's, that's opinion. Uh, but honestly, most of my favorite comics of all time have come out of that imprint. And um, they've really, you know, evolved over time and, and had several uh, periods which you could call like a couple of the heydays of, uh, of Vertigo comics. But in recent years, they've really hit a slump. And... Um, the first slump was right before we had one big editorial change, which was uh, Karen Berger leaving. And Karen Berger, of course, had been with Vertigo for pretty much forever. And she's had her name on all kinds of books, and she has connections to so many of the biggest names in all of comics. And she left, voluntarily left Vertigo uh, to go do other stuff. And in her wake, um, there was an obvious difference in the way that Vertigo was, even right before she left. Um, with a lack of like just those groundbreaking comics uh, coming out at any given time. Right after she left, they announced that uh, Shelley Bond would be taking over her position, and Shelley Bond had been with the publisher pretty much almost as long as uh, Berger had. She'd been there for a long time, and she's worked on just as many huge titles and has connections with just as many huge creators in the industry. So it was a good move for DC to put Bond in place of Berger. They were both two of probably the most important women in the comics industry. And this was huge news whenever Karen Berger left, so it was also huge news to see uh, Shelley Bond take over. And so Shelley Bond had been in charge of Vertigo for a few years now, and it seemed like she was just starting to get her footing as like, you know, the chief editor over at Vertigo, the you know the person who's really in charge of everything, and, and really putting her her stamp on the the imprint. Um, there was there was a little lull where there wasn't really much being published, and then all of a sudden, about eight or nine months ago, a bunch of series came out, and all of them kind of felt like those classic Vertigo titles, and it seemed like a you know, like a renaissance. For Vertigo, they they tried to do this a little while ago. Whenever they launched, uh, it was like Hinterkin and Coffin Hill, and uh, FBP all got launched around the same time. And they were some good series, but it just didn't have the momentum. And then this time, it seemed like there was you know probably a dozen new series, mini series, and ongoing series coming out of Vertigo. And most of them were getting a lot of critical acclaim. Uh, a lot of them were from newer names that that haven't done a lot in comics. Uh, sometimes by some older names like Art Ops had uh, Sean Simon and Mike Allred and then we had of course um, Clean Room by Gail Simone and then we had a uh, current uh, you know currently growing in the industry Tom King doing Sheriff of Babylon with uh, Mitch Gerards I think was the artist on that one and so there's been a lot of really good stuff and it seemed like Shelley was really getting her footing she was really getting into making Vertigo her own, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there was this news that DC was letting her go. And it wasn't just that they were letting her go, but they were completely getting rid of her position altogether. 
And now um, another editor, Jamie Rich, working at, at Vertigo, he's come out and said that this is not the end of Vertigo. They are restructuring stuff. It is going to still go. And, you know, convincingly trying to tell people, you know, they're, they're going to be doing good things. But you have to sit there and wonder, like, what's going on? Like, why, why let go of that position? And the, the one, the, you know, the, the thing that comes to mind for me is that they're wanting to have, because uh, Vertigo always kind of operated as a se separate entity, at least after they, they cut ties to the DC universe with their books, like after, you know, books like Swamp Thing and, and Doom Patrol and Sandman kind of veered away from continuity, Hellblazer stopped being part of the DCU. Um, they, they were operating under their own umbrella like it was still under DC but they were doing their own thing and it was really clear that that they weren't being affected too much by editorial of DC proper but now it seems like and this is my greatest fear for the for the imprint that DC proper meaning Dan Didio is going to be putting his hands on what's going on over at Vertigo now I'm not saying that that's what's happening. I'm saying that that's what I'm afraid is going to happen. And I haven't seen enough news, and we haven't seen anything new uh, coming out of Vertigo ever since that news. But it seemed kind of weird that it happens, or maybe, I guess, not weird, but kind of coincidental that that happens at around the same time that we get the announcement of both Young Animal and the announcement of the Hanna-Barbera books. Two new imprints happening at DC Comics, and then they let go of Shelley Bond over at Vertigo. So what's happening with Vertigo? I'm not worried that they're closing down Vertigo, at least not at this point. I'm just concerned about what kind of books we're going to be seeing published from Vertigo. Vertigo was such a huge, just a huge player in the comics industry that was putting out so many amazing books on a regular basis with some of the biggest names in all of comics working for them. And now I have this concern that that's all going to be flushed down the toilet, that that's all going to be behind us. Because in the last several years, we've seen Image kind of take Vertigo's place. And while their books have a different house style to what was coming out at Vertigo, it's clear that, you know, a lot of the creators that might have been pitching series for Vertigo are now going over to Image. Now they're doing creator-owned books over there. It leads me to wonder if there's a, you know, something behind what was going on at Vertigo already that people were rather going to Image instead. The way that Image was running things must have been better for the creators doing their creator-owned projects. But that's neither here nor there. What I wanted to talk about also has to do with an editor at DC. Now, DC goes ahead and, and pretty much, like, to put it bluntly, they fire Shelley Bond. And it's not clear, there's no word as to whether she was already wanting to leave the publisher and they cut ties first. There was no word so far as to whether she was going to work somewhere else. There was a mention at one point that she was supposed to be taking over or, or helping Gerard Way do Young Animal. I don't know if that's official or not. I haven't seen any official mention of that. But she was more or less fired from DC. Fired by DC from Vertigo. Her position was just, like, destroyed. Her position doesn't even exist anymore. And someone who wasn't fired is another editor at DC who is, you know, caught up in, and I He's, he's caught up in several sexual harassment cases that have gone very public, especially in the past few weeks. It was something that was known in the past, but in the, in the, in the last few weeks, it's come out into the public light. And it's interesting to me that DC would go ahead and, and like let go of someone who's been with them, been in the industry for so long in Shelley Bond. But they're going to let you know, someone who's had several harassment suits filed against them, go ahead and keep working as the editor for the Superman books. Um, it's it's a huge freaking deal. It's a real big problem. And I've, I've heard rumors as to why. I've read things. I'm not here to, to cause a fuss. I'm just here to kind of put that out on the table. 
because of the fact that I love Vertigo and I have loved Vertigo for as long as I've been reading comics or as long as I've been reading mature comics, I have loved Vertigo and everything, mostly everything that I've read from them. They've given me a lot of my very favorite series, Animal Man, Doom Patrol, Invisibles, Preacher, Sandman, Transmetropolitan, all these books, and the list goes on, all these are amazing books that came out of Vertigo's, you know, house of, of just amazing, enormous ideas for these, you know, this, this house style that just is so impressive, and it makes me really, really sad to see that they might be dwindling into something small, something not as impressive as they have been, some... They were a powerhouse, and now they're just kind of surviving. So, while I mentioned I'm, I'm super excited about Young Animal, and I'm looking forward to checking out those Hanna-Barbera books, I can't help but have a bad taste in my mouth because of the fact that DC Comics, they, they don't seem to be trying to, to keep life in their Vertigo imprint, an imprint that's brought them so much success, and it just makes me sad. Um, now, it's it's all conjecture. There's there's no solid idea of what's going to be happening uh, in the next several months. The the restructuring of Vertigo, as the publisher is saying, there's no clue as to what that's going to be consisting of. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what creators are going to be making books. We don't know what kind of books are going to come out. We don't know if they're going to cancel their whole slate of titles. Again, we have no clue. I just, I, I typically try to stay optimistic about stuff, but looking at this, it's hard to stay optimistic because it doesn't look like a positive situation. The only, the only positive thing right now that you know, I, I'm guessing we'll maintain from Vertigo, or I, I, I could say for sure that we would maintain from Vertigo, would be that they are putting out a lot of really good collected editions, and, and this is what my channel has always been about, has been the collected editions. Um, they're putting out really awesome absolute editions, Transmet, Why the Last Man, Preacher, Sandman has been done in the past. They keep doing nice uh, deluxe editions and omnibus editions, and those nice thick paperbacks as well. Um, so we're getting a lot out of collected editions for Vertigo, and that's a positive, but I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen to the imprint. Uh, don't like to be a Debbie Downer. I don't like to be negative about stuff, but I just have to say that I, I'm having a hard time being positive about the publisher right now. Hopefully I am proven wrong in you know the coming months as we see what happens with the restructuring. I hope as much as I can that I'm completely wrong and that good things are going to be coming, but it's a dark place right now for those who grew up loving Vertigo. Anyway, uh, that, that's my thoughts. Tomorrow morning, I'll have a video about DC Rebirth. I'll talk about some stuff happening there, some positives and some negatives over with the Rebirth uh, thing. Um, until then, enjoy the video. Hope you guys are enjoying this new segment that I'm doing. Um, I'll have some links down below to my uh, site and channel, so check those out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.